Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, guys, today's review, uh, one you guys have probably seen in commercials lately, um, maybe heard about, uh, Proper Number 12. And uh, Proper Number 12 is one of those celebrity whiskeys. Um, you know, celebrities always trying to throw their hat into something new. And uh, this is the whiskey put out by um, MMA fighter Conor McGregor. Sometimes boxer Conor McGregor. Um, Conor McGregor, you guys probably know. Uh, I don't really have an opinion about it one way or the other. Uh, he He's a good fighter, I know that much. But uh, as far as his antics and his character uh, that you see through media a lot, uh, he's not the most likable guy. But uh, I don't know if that's really him or just his character or what. Um, but anyway, um, that said, uh, a few weeks back, probably right around uh, St. Patty's Day, uh, my mom, uh, she comes over for dinner once a week, and uh, she texted me when I was at work and said, I got this stuff called Proper Number 12, which I had heard of already at that point. I uh, had not had it yet. Uh, but she said that she saw it at the store, wanted to try it out. She had no idea about she doesn't know who Conor McGregor is, I, d I don't think. Um, she doesn't know, you know, kind of the backstory and all that. But I said, okay, cool, you know, bring it over. We'll try it out. And uh, we did. And, uh, yeah, I started doing a little research because you never know when a celebrity throws their hat into uh, the pool or whatever, uh, whatever it may be, whatever product, they might, might be, uh, you know, kind of endorsing or uh, backing or whatever uh you never know how it's going to be um you know for for all i knew this is going to be complete crap um and you know i just i'm iffy about those things so i wanted to try it out before i made a judgment um you know i just i hoped it wasn't another grab of money uh i mean that's always a little bit of uh the case but as far as uh I hope it wasn't. I hoped it wasn't going to be just some crap that was being put out there um, with no quality whatsoever. So uh, I was anxious to try this out, even though I'm not, you know, I'm not against Conor McGregor, but I'm I'm not a big fan either. I mean, I've seen some of his fights, and you know, cool to watch, but that's about it. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll pop this open, guys. Read a little bit about it on the back. But uh, the more I read about this and, uh, you know, just Conor McGregor being behind it and uh, his story and all that, um, you know, I thought, okay, you know, it seems like it's a little more than just a gimmick. Um, you know, it seemed like he actually uh, put a little bit of thought into this. So, anyway, read the back here. It says, paying tribute to where it all began for me. Uh, this is from Conor McGregor. Uh, paying tribute to where it all began for me, uh, Devlin 12. Our master distiller and I set out with one goal in mind, to craft a proper Irish whiskey that is true to Ireland. Uh, we are honored to share this with you and proud to donate to first responders for every bottle sold. Uh, <clears throat> enjoy this smooth and balanced whiskey, a fine blend of golden grain and full flavored malted barley. Uh, triple distilled and aged a minimum of three years in bourbon barrels. Proper number 12 offers hints of vanilla, honey-like sweetness, and toasted wood. A proper salute to all. And uh, <clears throat> again, that was Conor McGregor. And uh, the master distiller signature is back here as well. I don't know what his name is. I can't read uh, his signature. But uh, anyway, so we know it's... Distilled three times, you know, a lot of Irish whiskey is, uh, and it's uh, aged in bourbon barrels for a minimum of three years, so, you know, all good, all good stuff to know. Don't quite get an age statement, but you know it's at least three years old. Um, and uh, it's 40% ABV, uh, which is 80 proof, so, you know, it's going to be, a, you figure it's going to be a, a, on the lighter side, you know, a lot of Irish whiskey is, but. Uh, and then the bottom, I never saw this actually. It said smooth is fast. Okay. Um, so uh, let's give it a pour, guys. Let's see what we got. Oh. 
already have a pour. Um, so, anyway, enough talking. Let's do some uh, reviewing. All right. So, it's a nice light color, although it's a, it's a shade darker than, um, you know, than your Jameson's or Bushmills of the world. Um, being aged in, uh, in uh, bourbon barrels, I'm sure that has something to do with it. It has a little bit of that char in there. All right. Yeah. Legs are pretty quick. All right. Who even knows? I gotta say, guys, on the nose, this has a, a very pleasant nose. It really does. It's got, you know, it's got that classic Irish whiskey um, nose to it. Uh, a lot of malted barley in there. Um, light notes like uh, orchard fruit. I get um, some apple, some pear. Definitely some, uh, some vanilla. Um, you get... Being in those uh, bourbon barrels, you get a, a little bit of those bourbon notes to it, though. You get a little bit of uh, a little bit of like a barrel spice. Definitely some woodiness to it. It's it's got some really nice uh, lighter notes. Um, not offensive at all on the nose. Definitely not. Let's take a sip. And on the palate there, guys, I will say that it does have a little bit of a bite near the end of it. But that said, it's got some good things, some good redeeming factors going for it as well. You get the, again, those malty notes, um, definitely some vanilla in there, uh, some fruitiness. I get, actually on the palate, I get the orchard fruit as far as the apple. Uh, the pear, um, but I'm also getting some uh, citrusy type notes as well, kind of on the lemon peel side of things. Um, it's got some really good stuff going for it. Um, some good, again, some good wood, um, you know, barrel spice to it. It's uh, got some good things going on. Let's take another sip. Yeah, guys, this is one that I'll tell you right now is not my favorite Irish whiskey, but it's also not one of the really bad ones I've had. I've had some bad Irish whiskey in the past. This has some good things going for it and some things that are a little, uh, you know, it's got, like I said, it has a little bit of burn to it, uh, a little... It tastes a little bit young, for sure, um, but uh, yeah, I, I like the things that the positive things that it has going. There is definitely a silver lining to this, um, you know, those malty notes again, those fruity notes, the uh, you know some of the bourbon characteristics that this uh, took on from the barrel, um, all really good things. Um, I'm not disappointed in this. I'm really not. I was actually, before I had this, before I had this, um, I wasn't sure what to think or what to expect, um, knowing that, you know, that it was a celebrity uh, that was behind this. So, um, I'm not saying anything bad about celebrities. It's just, I don't know which ones actually put, uh, you know, care and quality into their, uh, the bourbons or where, whatever they, uh, they're backing. So, um, this is actually a very decent product. I enjoy this. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it's slightly above average, I'd say. Um, and for a score, I'd probably give this, I'm going to give it a, a 78, which is, you know, a C plus. Um, I think 78 is a, a pretty good score, guys. Um, I definitely would recommend you try this out. This is not one that I would tell you to stay away from. Um, this is, it's a decent bottle of Irish whiskey. You know, it's not a great bottle of Irish, uh, Irish whiskey. Um, you know, but I get tired sometimes of, uh, 
and nothing against Jameson, but sipping just on Jameson or, um, you know, one of the more kind of more in the spotlight Irish whiskeys. You know, I, I do like Jameson, uh, Tullamore Dew, uh, Bushmills. Um, you know, if you want to talk a little more expensive, uh, I hear, I haven't had it yet. My sister, Lisa Beth, recently told me to try uh, Green Spot. She said that was very good. It's a little more expensive, uh, a little above $50 here. Um, so at some point I'll probably get to that, but, um, you know, it's, it's a little more than, than I usually like to pay. Um, so this whiskey here for, you know, this is right around 20 to 25 bucks. So in the same price range as Jameson and some of those other ones I mentioned, Tolomore do. Um, and, uh, I would definitely recommend try this out, you know, change it up, try this out, see what you think. Um, if you're at a bar and they have this, definitely try it out. Um, I could see this being decent in uh, whiskey cocktails as well. Um, yeah, I'd, maybe if you want to do uh, oh, a number of things, guys. I mean, this would make a, a number of uh, decent cocktails. Um, plus having that kind of uh, spice that you would that you get from the that bourbon barrel um, that this was aged in. So. Anyway, um, again, a 78 out of 100, not bad at all. Um, and uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, I'll be back soon. Um, I have a few lined up, ready to go, probably three or four more ready to go. Um, in a few weeks, uh, about, actually about a month from now, um, I'll be in Virginia City in Nevada. I'm staying at uh, the Silver Queen Hotel for anybody who's uh, familiar with uh, Virginia City at all. And uh, it's supposed to be a, a haunted hotel. Um, so, and I'll be staying in the, uh, the room that's considered to be, you know, most haunted. So, um, anyway, I, yeah, that stuff, uh, yeah, I, it's always kind of uh, picked my interest to stay in historic places like that. And I've, I've stayed there a number of times in the past, uh, but looking forward to getting back there. And uh, I'm going to be doing a very special review um, when, I, when I'm there. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, everything before it, everything after, guys. Uh, there's a lot of good things going on. There's a number of things I'm working on. Um, maybe a little, uh, you know, maybe some merchandise before too long. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have some hats or uh, shirts available or um, maybe even some glassware. Uh, working on a few things, guys. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll keep you updated. And uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'm, again, I'll be back soon. Not sure when. Um, things are crazy some days, some weeks. Um, not so bad others. So we'll see. I'm um, not sure what I'll be reviewing next, but uh, I got a bourbon. Uh, I might actually, uh, there are a couple of uh, blended Scotch whiskeys from the same distillery that, I, that maybe I'll review next time. Um, want to kind of diversify a little bit more, um, uh, you know, just not always do bourbons. Uh, I love bourbon, but you know, I, I've got love for all kinds of whiskey. So looking forward to reviewing something different before too long. And, uh, that's it for now, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Have a great week and I'll be back soon till next time. Cheers.